Hi guys, welcome to a tutorial video for the Corsair Scimitar Pro or Corsair Scimitar Mouse. Today we're going to go over how to get your Corsair Scimitar to interact with any MMO game, specifically here World of Warcraft, but you can use it in like Final Fantasy or stuff like that um, to better your key binding instead of having to be a keyboard clicker and just click on buttons. You can use your mouse to click on these buttons here while you're doing other things. The program we're going to be using today is called Corsair's IQ. When you first get it, you're going to have the home screen that's going to look like this. And then the type of devices you're going to have installed are right here. I'm not going to go over the K95 or the Commander Pro today. We're going to go over the Corsair Scimitar for World of Warcraft. So when you first open it, you get the default, and we get all of this right here. I'm going to click on Actions. So I'm, gonna click, I'm actually going to click on Default here. It's going to show it everything the default profile is. It's going to show you your profiles here on the left. And this is my profile for WoW and WoW only. But for the default size, you'll notice the difference. This has 12 buttons. This has zero. So if I click on my profile and I click back on the game, you can see down here, these nine buttons will light up every time I click on something. If I click, we hover back on here, you'll notice if we click on default and we come back here, the buttons no longer light up. So how did I do that? Well, if you're on your default profile, or whatever profile you want to name it, we're going to create a new profile by clicking the plus button here. I'm going to drag it up here, and I'm going to do YouTube Tutorial. So just like the default, it's got nothing new with it. We're going to go ahead and just leave all the transparency tabs the same so you all can see a little better. But I'm going to come down here to Action. So right here is where your mouse is. And you've got your window open to have all your stuff. So to get your mouse to keybind properly, you hit the plus button in action and it's going to bring up your mouse it's going to bring up the 12 side keys and it's going to bring up the uh, four or five on top we are just looking at these 12 side keys so it's, i'm going to click on this one button it's going to give me g1 it's going to say oh this is a macro well no it's not we're going to instead do a remap to numeric keypad you notice this changes A to B, and this changes numeric keypad. And I'm going to click on the 1, keypad 1. And then I'm going to just leave it alone. When I come back in the game, you'll see this one lights up. We click on number 2, it doesn't light up. Come back over to the Corsair IQ. Every time you create a new one, you have to click Action again. And then we come over to the plus screen. And then it's going to stay macro. You're going to change it to numeric keypad again. And we're going to do number two. And then I'm going to come over here and click on the two key. And once we've done that, you'll notice Bloodthirst or whatever keybind you have that you want is going to light up. And when you walk over the training dummy, you'll see that they both work. So let me go ahead and do this for the rest of them. So now we're going to click Action again. We're going to click on number 3. We're going to click Numeric Keypad. We're going to click Keypad number 3. So now Rampage will work. So if I build up enough Rage here, with Auto Attacks, notice Rampage works. So let me go ahead and just create the rest of these. So 
that way you guys can follow along. I'm going to go to number four. I'm going to go to number four. I'm going to pull it down. I'm going to go number five. Number five. Delete that. Number five to number five, right? Number six to number six. seven to seven, so on and so forth. So we finish this off to eight. And last but not least, nine to nine. I'm just gonna do those because the other three are self-explanatory. So now, once you have it all mapped, just how it is, I'm going to pull this down so I can show you. All of them are mapped to keypad 1 through 9. And you go back to WoW, you'll notice that your buttons actually light up and they will do whatever you want them to do in the game. One last important thing before I end the video here is in order for all of this to work, so if we click out of here, in order for all of it to work, if I click back on mine, right, it's the same thing, it's just in a different order. For all of this right here to work, we have to actually come over and if your keyboard has a num lock button, which it should, all modern modern day computers have them now, you actually have to have that enabled because right now I have it turned off and it's not working. But you turn it back on and it instantly works. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped. Have a great day.